We do, Scott. And one of the horses that definitely caught my eye was Epic Ride for trainer John Ennis. And he got some news just a couple of days ago, obviously with the scratch of Encino. Now Epic Ride does draw into this year's Kentucky Derby. I've been following this horse for a very long time. I obviously was on site for FanDuel uh, when we were covering the John Battaglia. And this is, you know, he said that in that race that he was really disappointed that he had to carry so much weight, so much more weight than the rest of his competition. And he thought uh, at the end of the day that did actually make a difference in the result of the race. Here's a look at him, guys. He's beautiful. I have always thought he was one of the most beautiful horses. When I was there at Turfway, John came up to me before the horses walked in the, into the paddock and he said, uh, if he's not the most attractive horse in the paddock, then I'll be shocked. And yes, of course, he was the paddock pick because he was beautiful, beautiful looking horse. Uh, I think he's up against it with this outermost post position. But guys, you can't knock his consistency. This horse has been ultra consistent. Lost to Encino in the John Battaglia, carrying that heavy weight. And then he came back in the grade one Toyota Bluegrass at 51 to one to manage to finish third. And, you know, a lot of the time we like to ask these connections. How do you kind of pivot? What are the what's the difference in preparations that they make? You know, obviously he was originally pointing for the Preakness. He was excited about that opportunity. And now you got to pivot for the Kentucky Derby. And he said, no, we always keep this in the back of the mind. Uh, you know, obviously nothing changes with the horse. And he's very confident going into the, this year's Kentucky Derby, guys. He looks great. So to blame Epic Ride in the Derby following yesterday's defection of Encino. Thank you, Gabby. We're looking.